I'm Annick and I'm from northern New Jersey. Today at the Fiber School of Medicine we listen to speakers talk about their jobs and their experiences going through med school, college, the application process, and they answered our questions about cases, they answered our questions about different patients that they had in their own experiences. We also went to a bunch of simulations that were run by med school students where we were able to take each other's vitals, we learned about the different parts of the heart, and we were able to do a bunch of different hands-on experience tests with each other. I'm Alex, I'm a second year med student here at Fiber. I had a lot of really cool kids come in and I wanted to teach them about the shoulder and the knee. Um, in particular, I showed them what a basic MSK musculoskeletal exam would look like and I let them practice it on each other. I'm Natasha, I'm a first year medical student. Well, I've just finished my first year medical school, so we're in between. So we're doing normal heart sounds and so basically that's what you're going to be listening to when you listen to a patient, just with a stethoscope. I'm teaching them a little bit more about the four chambers of the heart, how the blood runs to the heart, and where exactly you're listening to the person. My name is Drew, and I'm from Marietta, Georgia. And what stuck out to me the most was there was this doll named Harvey, and he uh, he was like a, he operated like an actual person, and that was really cool because I felt him, and he was breathing, and he, but he was made out of rubber. That's just crazy. It's helpful to get real world exposure to actual medical. I, I want to be a doctor, and it's helpful to be uh, be exposed to programs like this where you actually get interaction with real doctors and real facilities. Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm from Washington, D.C. Today we went to the Feinberg School of Medicine in Chicago and my favorite part might have been having lunch with med students. It really gave me a good idea of what it might be like when I'm actually in med school. That's one of the main reasons I found NSLC because I want to kind of dip my toes in and understand what it would be like to one day be a doctor and get a real life experience.